There's something I'd like to show you. Something you might enjoy. Something wrong, Mr. Ventura? Take care now. Bye-bye then. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. What have I been telling you? We are powerful. We are so much more powerful than they ever want to admit. We are legion and we can crush the largest brands in the world just by saying so. Just by going out and doing. Just by bringing a little bit of attention to the fact that some of these brands are deeply predatory, are truly, truly malevolent and evil. And Target is one of those brands. Man, we saw it firsthand. We saw it, I saw it myself. This brand is a trash brand. And for the first time in six years, Target has posted a quarterly loss saying that their Pride Month was an absolute disaster. Target said that its quarterly sales fell for the first time in six years. That's all the way through COVID. This was, through COVID, they didn't have a quarterly loss, but now they're having a loss because of us. We are powerful. We are the killer of brands. If you F around, you shall find out. The result of consumers' negative reaction to its spring pride clothing collection that featured tuck-friendly swimwear and LGBTQ-friendly gear, alphabet-friendly gear for infants and children. Target CEO Michael Fadiddle addressed Target's disastrous rainbow-clad collection in an earnings call on Wednesday saying traffic and top-line trends were affected by the reaction to the Pride assortment. Wow. So he had to be forced to say it. Sales at stores and digital channels opened for the last year fell off 5% from a year earlier, according to Target's, Target's Q2 earnings released Wednesday. The digital sales slipped 10%. Fidelity said on the call that retailers couldn't quantify the impact the Pride collection had alone on the comparable sales. They haven't had a drop in sales since 2014. Think about everything that's happened since 2014. Barack Obama was president, 2014. Jeez. Wow. So this was the Pride Collection. I did a series of videos. on This thing was absolutely abhorrent, horrendous, terrible, hideous. Target is now weeping because of us. And it's beautiful. It's comparable sales down 5.4%. Yeah. That is well below estimate for a 3.7% drop. Also the first decrease since 2016. Look at that collapse right there. The retailer says discretionary categories again weak while food, beverage, essentials, beauty, those frequency categories, those were stronger. Digital sales down 10 and a half percent. That's the third straight quarter of declines the and the worst performance since Tar has been giving this number. Inventory fell 17% and lower markdowns did help to lift gross margins. Operating margins also better than expected. But at 4.8%, that's about half of the level where it was two years ago at 9.8%. On a call with media, Target CEO Brian Cornell pointed to macro pressures, including inflation, for tempering sales. But also, quote, negative guest reaction to our pride collection. Hell he yes. also continued to say negative reaction to our pride assortment and added after adjusting mid quarter to address safety concerns, the business recovered steadily in July. Oh yes, safety concerns. So you had to go see it while you while it was out. You had to go see it, all right? So I just wanted to show you some of those charts to so, show you how like negative how powerful we actually are. This is the target ticker right now. This is a year to date. So Target should be way up here in the 180 range, which is where they were. And what happened right here in June? Oh my, what happened right here at the end of May? The end of May when they announced this, just an absolute and total collapse. Videos like this one shot around the internet, the tuck-friendly swimsuit, Alex Stein trying it out. Look, I, this is not, you guys see this, it's tuck-friendly. Look, 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 look. Yep. This is Target is so progressive. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Target. I just I, I saw these myself. I'm like regretting now not buying one. I like legitimately this is that you could put these pieces inside of a museum to the end of corporate wokeism. I actually went and saw again Target for myself. And the thing that I was the most focused on as a parent was the incredible predatory nature of this pride collection. It was like D, there's no other way to describe it. This was in the children's section and featured naked adults essentially in the children's section 
with children's clothing. Half the items were child-centered. I'm here at Target in Tampa, Florida. Just walked into the door. You've heard that there's a backlash and the Target has real changes uh, to their very aggressive pride display uh, this year. And you have been lied to, actually. Because right here at the very front of the building, there you go. There's your little little toddler mannequin. And it gets back. Check this out. So uh, they've also have a toddler gear to one these for literally 12, 12 months. That's what that is. So incredibly well deserved for Target. The sales slump has now cost them $14 billion. So a lot of people like to brag and say, what do you mean, go woke, go broke? Give me an example of going woke and going broke. Well, here's your example. Bud Light will also never recover. And these are two of the biggest brands in the world, Bud Light and Target. So yes, we are powerful. Now, the way that you can tell that we are powerful and the way that you can tell that this actually really hurts their feelings is that they go on TV and complain about it and call it terrorism. <laughs> Target caves into this. Then it says that the moment you threaten the employees of even a very large corporation, you get to control its policies. This is economic terrorism, literally terrorism, <laughs> creating fear among workers and forcing the corporations to sell the things you want, and not sell the things you don't. <laughs> yeah, that's called capitalism, Jack. <laughs> Go back to your own country and ditch those glasses, nerd. Something that's not nerdy is the incredible amount of participation in this boycott. We had it from all sides, moms all around the world, all around the country, decided not to shop at Target, decided to switch brands, places like Public Square. There are plenty of other retail brands that don't hate you and aren't predatory towards your children. Remember, Target hired a literal Satanist to design Satan-themed pride content for children. So tells you exactly where this movement comes from and exactly where they're going, okay? Just look at what they're doing. You don't even need to. You, you don't even need to read into anything. They're literally hiring the Satanist to go after uh, an appeal to the children. Okay. Now, speaking of appealing to children, uh, there were anti-target bangers that hit number one on the rap charts. Uh, the favorite MAGA rapper for us in the world is Forgiato Blow, and he dropped this sick beat. Still a banger. Let's go. They put a target on my back, but they're targeting your kids. They don't even need to ask, because you all know what it is. Yeah, that's why I keep a strap, and I'm always by my bears. This agenda got to stop. Yeah, you know we're going to win when they target, target. Yeah, they target and target, target. Yeah, they target kids. Target, target. Yeah, they target and 